could you explain in layman's terms, so that even I could understand, what it is that you've discovered and what is a near-Earth comet? What I've discovered is that a comet that was observed by the Chinese in 5 BC, um, I, I put together the information from their observation to come up with an orbit that would take this particular comet very, very close to the Earth. And as it passed the Earth, probably about the distance to the moon, the a position on the rotating Earth would have seen the comet pause for a period of hours over a location. We have the same thing now with the geosynchronous satellite. If you stand at the equator, there are, there are ge geosynchronous satellites that stay over your head 24-7. Okay, so it appears to be stationary because both it and the Earth are moving, and you don't notice the movement of the Earth, and therefore you don't notice its movement. Right. And therefore it could have been hovering over Bethlehem. Correct. And it would, and the orbit I came up with would have stayed that way for several hours. So it turns out that the the story in the book of Matthew that describes the Magi's journey, before they came to Jerusalem, it just says they saw the star. But when they travel from Jerusalem south to Bethlehem, it says it went before them until it stood over the place where the child was. And objects in the sky typically rise in the east and set in the west due to the Earth's rotation, the stars, the sun and the moon, the planets. But if an object, like I said, was close enough to the Earth and traveling in the right direction, it, it could have paused for a period of hours. And these being trained astronomers, they would have, uh, they would have noticed something very, that this was very unusual.